Well, the, the bats have kind of gone quiet here the last uh, two days, but um, this team can hit. We, you know, we, we're a good team. We're gonna we'll, we'll get out of this, and wouldn't be surprised if we really turn it on tomorrow night. Uh, two pitchers, you know, give them credit. They, they mixed. Uh, yesterday it was a slider. Today it looked like a split that Shoemaker was throwing that just kept us off balance quite a bit. A lot of soft contact, but uh, we can hit. We know we can hit, and uh, we will hit. So on the pitching side, uh, Alex, he was phenomenal. I mean, he gives up two solo home runs real quick within four or five or six pitches, whatever it was, and then uh, like kicked it in gear and, and just gave us every opportunity to come back. We just couldn't. Uh, but just really, really impressed with the way Alex has been for it seems like five, five, six, what, whatever starts this uh, this last month or month and a half. What did you like about the way he was able to bounce back after that first inning and the adjustments he made? Well, probably as much as anybody, Alex has been around enough. His veteran uh, approach, you know, two two home runs is not going to bother him in the first inning. I mean, obviously he's probably going to get irritated by it, but it's not going to alter what he's going to do to attack lineups, and uh, it doesn't phase him to the point where uh, he's the type of guy that would just crumble out there and, you know, let it continue to to bleed. He just stopped everything and, and limited a, uh, a team that is swinging pretty good right now to, to not much damage. It's been such a big pitch for him, but what is it about his curveball that's just been so effective? He just creates so much depth with it. I mean, you see you know, a lot of curveballs, it looks like you know they, they, they pop out of hand and hitters recognize it. It looks like his is uh, you know, coming in kind of like an up fastball or something and just bottoms out uh, for in the zone and then he's able to bury it. But he's, you know, he's got a really good feel for it right now. Kevin, in the seventh, the ball that Colby Rasmus hit, it looked like it was going to go out. Sometimes yeah. there's going to be nights where things don't bounce your way. But in what ways maybe did that change some of the momentum? Well, it didn't change it right then. I mean, that, that uh, their reliever came in, Petit, and uh, made two big, you know, two, two a couple pitches to two two hitters to limit us right there. But that was a little unfortunate. You know, look, off the bat, I thought Colby had got it. We've seen him take that similar swing here a couple times now, and the ball ends up in the seat. Uh, looked, I think he, it was a fastball way that um, he hit off the end of the bat. Just didn't quite get it too clean. You weren't thinking about pinch hitting Sucre for Norris at that point, were you? No. No. Kevin, you think your offense, because of the reliance on the homers and the heavy strikeout walk thing, is, is kind of prone to having these kind of dips like that? Yeah. Not yeah, I think that's fair. We're, we're going to have some quiet nights, and we're going to run into some pitchers that um, – you know, are gonna are gonna cause some issues and 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 blank us. But you know, we got to find a way to limit those. Um, there's a lot of good pitchers in this league, but uh, these guys, this lineup can hit, and and I think they've proven that here in the first uh, close to two months now. You know, I don't think you can change your thought process after two quiet days. Obviously, if, if he's getting a ball in play in the seventh rather than the strikeout. But yeah. Move the ball, you know. We've talked about that, and, uh, but I mean, the guy made some good pitches. It looked like Souza had a couple uh, pitches to hit. Dino missed, a, you know, a two-zero fastball. So, you know, we got ourselves in some situations to get some pitches. We just weren't able to capitalize tonight. But that's that's the way it goes sometimes.